have got some news for you. I've been hearing from you guys about a new product that Golden has come out with. They were coming out with it and all of y'all were letting me know and I reached out to them. It's acrylic, it's a matte acrylic, but it's supposed to have the look of acrylic gouache. And you guys know that I've been loving the Golden Matte Fluid Acrylic. Well, one of you guys reached out to me and told me that Golden has discontinued that product. I was like, what? I just found it and just fell in love with it. I mean, I cannot even tell you how disappointed I am because I have really, 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 really loved that product. So, I reached out to Golden, was like, hey guys, I have a YouTube channel and everybody's been telling me about this product. Would y'all be up for like sending me some so I could try it on my channel? But they responded and they sent me some. Okay, and here's the deal. When I went to their website, I could not tell which department to send a letter to. I mean, I did it by email. So I just emailed everybody. I kind of got cracked up when I was doing it. They they heard and they responded, so I was so glad. So they sent me some. Let me grab the ones they sent me. Well, they first sent me three. The Cerulean Blue, Napthal Red, and Permanent Yellow. So they sent me a red, yellow, and blue, and not even like a great blue for mixing. You know, I was very thankful this was a real gift. I'm not complaining whatsoever, but they didn't send me a white. So I emailed them again. I was like, listen, I'm so thankful for what you sent me, but I can't really do a proper review without a white. So then they sent me a white and a bigger bottle too, which I was so thankful for. It was really, really, really generous. Then I was also like, I kind of need some proper color. So the line came out and I ordered some more. And it's in this box. Ah. Okay, I ordered a bigger bottle of the yellow because I do go through yellow quite a bit because yellow is not as, mm, normally it's not as like, you need more of it. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but basically I go through yellow a lot. So I thought I'm going to order some more yellow. I ordered a phthalo blue and I also ordered a French ultramarine, but they are back ordered. That's a color I really needed. And I also ordered a pale yellow and a black. Oh no, I have one more in here. And a cadmium red dark. I'm gonna test all these, color swatch them. I'm going to be painting with them so I can give y'all like really good feedback on that. Good morning, guys. It is Friday morning. I'm gonna grab my tea. It's a beautiful spring day. The buttercups are blooming. And yesterday afternoon, I spent hours putting together a bunch of canvases. Actually, I didn't get them all finished putting together. I built the frames. It is like hard work putting canvases together. I mean, I'm always like, it's just physical. But I have a big blank canvas back here waiting for me. Well, this isn't blank. You can see that it's a nice big pink canvas. I gessoed it, a really pretty fun pink. And for me, this equals getting a brand new sketchbook. I know that can be intimidating for people, like a big blank something, but for me, it feels like the possibilities. That's how I feel. I mean, it just feels exciting. It feels like who knows what this is going to turn out to be. That's how it feels for me. Now, that does end very quickly. But what I did today, last night and this morning, I spent some time on Procreate, just gathering my composition, my thoughts, my color scheme. We'll see how that goes. Usually that doesn't help too much, but we'll see. <laughs> but here's the reason. I spent a little more time on the front end. I have got my new paints, the So Flat, the Golden So Flat paints that I'm trying out for you guys. I've been playing around with the So Flat paints in my sketchbook, but I just now got the rest of the order in for all the colors. I didn't want to start a big one until I had like sufficient color range, but I don't have a massive amount. I didn't want to buy big bottles till I knew if I liked it or not. So I feel a little like I just have a limited supply. So I feel like I cannot be just going and going and going and going on this canvas. You know what I mean? Like I need to have a little bit of a plan. So that's what I've got. I am so stinking excited about not only a new can blank canvas, but trying these new paints. I really hope I love them since they did away with my golden fluid matte acrylics. I need to love these. <gasps> Either way though, whether I love them or not, I'm gonna have a hot diggity time today doing this. So it just feels like a fun day. What I'm going to do is resolute to not get sucked into all the little things that I can get sucked into. I'm gonna post all the stuff when the video comes out and just do it and answer comments and that kind of stuff. But man, I don't need to get like sucked into Instagram land or editing or 
cleaning up in here or putting together more canvases. I just need to stay focused. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna film here and there. Everything is set up. Well, I mean, I don't have my paint set up, but my canvas is ready for me. Everything's just ready. <sighs> Got my painting clothes on. Yeah. I mean, basically, all my clothes are painting clothes at this point. Okay, so I needed to update y'all on all that. How exciting this feels. Probably five minutes in, and it, the excitement will be over, and it'll be like, oh no. But maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Let's just stay in the good frame of mind, Sandy. Okay, I don't know if this is gonna show up at all because I used a, a yellow on top of this pink, but basically I got my sketch, like just the big shapes. That's what I wanna get in. What I did on my Procreate sketch was I put just a, a cross in the middle of the Procreate sketch so I could basically get things in the right hemisphere. I've not really done that before, but decided to do it on this, you know, taking something from a smaller to a bigger like this, and I think it's worked out well. So what I'm gonna do now is basically block in some main color and then start working from furthest to nearest. So basically like this outdoor scene here that's furthest away. So like in real life outside would be furthest but then I'm going to be painting like the window on top and then things like the rug which are you know under the table. So that way I can just kind of do the pattern and then I'll do like the cat on top and that kind of stuff. I also sometimes need to get like the color theme more. It's really more about value but I just need to kind of get the colors on there. So I want to get some of that background color and then I'm just going to keep start working. Oh my nails kind of match my painting. Mm. Uh, but it's still in fun stage. I mean, just this yellow and pink. Heck, I feel like I could just use that and it would be gorgeous. Guys, I feel like I'm having a heart attack. <laughs> okay, I know I'm barely into the painting. I'm loving this paint. Yes! thinking big shapes, big colors, get things in, trying to spread color around, all that. So this is my window, chairs, couple pictures, blah, blah, blah. Hot oh, doggity. Now listen, I'm gonna say this. It's really early in the game. It's really early, it's really early. So I can't, you know, I gotta save my reserve. Mm, but right now, I'm having so much fun. Oh, I'm loving it. Smooth and buttery and all the things. I'm happy. Gotta get back to it. Paint hands. I'm tired. I can tell it's lunchtime. But that's going good. Wow. It's like I cannot stop. I did not mean to paint for this long. I can tell it in my body. I'm like, oh, everything's sore. It's gonna be a Advil or a leave day, I think for sure. But still too soon to tell. But at least the experience of this paint, I'm loving. I'm loving that I don't have to do 50 million layers. I usually only have to do two if I want something to feel not so transparent. I feel like I need to look at it. Excuse me. I just burped. I don't want it to look like a sketchbook. I don't think. Maybe I do. It does seem to have a little more of an odor. I'm hoping that's not going to be an issue. I feel a little long. <coughs> be terrible if I love the paint, but the odor of it got to me. I don't know. <clears throat> yeah, I do feel a little congested. I forgot to show you that where I am in progress because I have not picked up the camera at all, guys. Whoops. Uh oh, shame, 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 shame. I just really got into it. But I did warn you that I wasn't going to be picking it up much, but here I am. Or, or here's the painting. Here I am too. All right, here's my mess. Ugh, fun mess. And then here's the painting so far. Still a lot of the underpainting showing, and there's still a lot to be done. But there she is so far. The madness of it. I may need a nap. I'm dog tired. Fun, fun, fun morning. All right, I'm going to clean up. I need to clean my brushes, clean my palette, go make lunch, maybe take a nap. It's almost three o'clock. I've got to call it a day. I've painted for way too long for my body. I'm going to be 
hot mess, but I could not stop. I was having so much fun on this painting. Now here's the negative. By lunchtime, I was coughing like crazy. I have very, 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 very sensitive lungs and, I, and it's spring and I have lung issues already. I could definitely tell there was a strong smell and Grady could tell it too when he came in. It's a real bummer. I don't know if it's with these ultra matte paints, you know, the Pebeo, P-E-B-O paints that I had tried a while back. They had a really strong smell too, and these are affecting me. It's a real bummer. I am probably going to let the company know. Well, I'm definitely gonna let the company know, but I do love the paints. Here's what Grady did for me. Um, he put a fan in the window and cracked the window. No, I have bad allergies too, so it's not like the best scenario, but this afternoon, I definitely can tell a difference. I'm going to paint some more with them because I am enjoying them and I want to give you all a like full review and be able to tell that this is affecting me. I mean, I kind of feel like if this is going to affect me, I might as well paint with oil paints, but maybe this kind of thing will work. If this works, Grady, you know, will work on something more permanent and nicer and effective. That's just what he does. He's awesome about like really taking care of me and making sure that things are like done well. I mean, he wants me around for a while and doesn't want me coughing and sick. So, I mean, heck, if they can do this in one day, can you imagine? Yeah, anyway, so, you know, when you can definitely tell the fumes are strong. I mean, Grady came in here and he was like, I definitely can smell something. I hate to say anything negative about things, you know, especially things that I've been like talking to you about that I'm so excited about and I'm gonna tell you all about, but I need to tell, you know, I need to be honest about it. So I just want you to know, like don't go out and buy 50 million. I think you need to buy just a few and try them to see. I feel like I'm a little high too. After, uh, before lunch, I was definitely like, I'm slightly like high slash sick. I've painted all day long and it's been so much fun. Let me show you the painting up close and personal. Shoot, here's what's going on. I still have a lot to do to the table. I'm super happy with my outside scene and I'm still working on these figures. I had a plant here that I was gonna put that kind of went over the window, but I like the window so much I don't, I didn't wanna do that. And I'm kind of feeling like this gives you an area for your eye to rest and balances with over here. And then this is busy and this is busy. So that balances sounding very hoarse because of all my painting with toxic paints. Oh, I think I'm getting a little bit of a headache too. Okay, this is our setup. I have plastic right there and Coop sticking his head out the window. He's cracking me up. Is there something out there, bud? I think so, Mom. Get some fresh air. Coopy, are you funny? Huh? Are you funny? I'm pretty funny, Mom. So it's pretty nice in here with this window open. I don't know, bud. Happy boy. Is he my happy boy? Huh? Yeah. All right, I gotta get back to painting. All right, well, I picked it. Oh boy, wow. We got that going on. Sorry about that. Let me show you where I am. I'm adding more things to the table. I'm adding more things to the background. The paint is definitely strong smelling and feeling a little toxic. Kind of a bummer and i'm not sure yet if i like the ultra matteness let me spray this while i'm talking to you guys i don't want things to dry out uh yeah <clears throat> i think i am liking it i don't know that it's going to be a long termer with these so flat paints I'm not loving that i'm having to open the window and put a fan we'll see how i feel tomorrow after painting a good bit i'm already kind of getting a little <clears throat> right now i just want to paint so that's what i'm gonna go do hey coop you're in my way bud that's my spot Hey guys, I got a package today from one of you guys. Heidi sent me some paints that she got and realized, I'm not gonna like these. She's realized that she likes to use two paints instead of like paints in the jar. And she wanted to send them to me and they were like unused. Let's open this box. I'm pretty excited. Heidi, there are so many paints in here. Oh my goodness. What? Oh, and she stuck a gouache in here. What? Ooh, a color I don't have either. Okay, let me get all this out. Oh, and there's a card, Heidi. Oh my gosh. There are so many paints. Okay, so this is the So Flat line. Oh my gosh. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, okay, 
enough, guys. There are 50 million colors. These are also going to be great for our camping trips because I paint outside a lot until it gets like blazing hot. And the size tubs are going to be great. Man, they're great colors. Uh, let me put them together in their little families. Ooh, what about this one? Wow. I think most of these have not even be op been opened. <gasps> this is going to be so fun to swatch these. Okay, this red violet. I'm pretty excited about this color. Yeah, that's going to be a fun color. I don't really get purples, but recently I did buy a purple. I mean, there are so many. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Let me see if I can even just hold them all. Okay, it's, so it's not even just like so many. It's like so many with like good good colors. Look at what she sent me, guys. This is redonkulous. I mean, it, there's so many here. Heidi. Thank you. Golly Moses. Thank you. I mean... This was a real gift and a real treat, and I cannot wait to use them. I'm going to be painting outside soon with my niece. We're gonna do some more sketchbook work, and these are gonna be perfect. And I do really love these for my sketchbook. Okay, guys, let me show you what I did. I decided to line everybody up, because I haven't done a proper color swatch yet for my So Flat paints. And the paints that I was sent as a gift are duplicates of colors that I already have, so I thought I'll put those on top. And of course I had to like color chart, you know, put everybody in the right order. And then I'm going to swatch it in the sketchbook that I will mainly be using them in. So I'm gonna just do that here. That's a nice yellow, very buttery. I like these three yellows, very different. After I'm done, I'll go back and label what everything is. What I like to do if there's like a little sealer thing on that when I'm doing my color swatches is take that off and then I use that for my swatch. Anything that's still left there that I don't use, I scrape and put back in there. I'm so cheap. Paint is expensive, so we gotta save every drop. These colors are really, really beautiful, guys. And then we do the scrape. Save every speck of paint. And I like to keep this clean up here so that the lid comes off easy. I usually wipe that off. so pretty together. They're gonna be happy sitting next to one another for sure. Yeah, they are friends. I mean, look at these colors on this page, guys. Only two colors left. I'm dying to see what this purple looks like, guys. It's called Red Violet. Wow. Ooh, I've been into purple lately. I don't know what's happening to me. I'm not a purple person. Wow. That's gorgeous. I cannot wait to see what that looks like with the white. Now I've mentioned in other videos, I like having a black in my palette, especially in my sketchbook. It is nice to just have a good old straight black, but black and yellows make gorgeous greens. I want to give you my final thoughts about this paint. I'm definitely going to use them up. I will not be repurchasing them. They are way too toxic. Even outside, I can smell them. They don't seem to make me cough when I'm outside. The fact that I can still smell them is pretty bad. Number two, I do love the consistency of them and the potency of them. I love them for my sketchbooks. That's what I'm going to continue using them for is sketching in my sketchbooks. It's wonderful. I like it even even better than my flash paint or the golden matte fluid acrylics, which is discontinued because I don't have to do as many layers. And it just has this kind of postery effect that I love in my sketchbooks. I'm not sure that I love them for painting. This painting's turning out really nice, but it does have a little bit too much of a matteness for me. I am liking a little bit of transparency, so as I build those layers, some of the layers show through. And this is like, especially when you put a second layer, it is, it's 
very opaque and has some power to it. But I would say if you have any kind of health issues or are concerned about toxicity, this is not the paint for you, especially if you're gonna be painting indoors. Now, if you're just gonna be painting outdoors all the time, fine. But I have literally, I've got a, a decent sized studio. I've literally had the windows open, fan in the window, I've tried the fan in different places. Guys, it's just, they're, they're strong. They're very, very strong. And I've also been hearing this from other artists, so I know I'm not the only one. In fact, I've had several people that have just opened them and sent them back because they were like, whoa. They kind of had the, the effect that I did with the Pabeo or PBO, however you say that paint, where it was just like, oh, really strong. So I just really want you to know that, especially if you have lung issues like I do, I want you to be careful with these things. I have reached out to the company. I let them know my experience, and they uh, responded really kindly and then said they were sending it over to some other department. I can't remember what it was, and that they would get back with me. And I also left a comment on Blick, and up to this point, they still have not posted any comments and I left two or three comments with did the whole process and they even gave me a response. It was an auto response, but basically it was like, this will be up in two to three days. That was months ago. Now there aren't any comments, so maybe they just haven't got to them yet. I don't know, but that was a little bit of a bummer. I did write the company also. <sighs> yeah, because I just think we need to be having some healthy paint out there. You know what I mean? I have been loving this paint for my sketchbooks, and I want to show you some of the sketches that I've been doing. And I will just continue to use the paint up, and that'll be fine, but I will not be repurchasing. No, 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 no. There are some other options that are still out there that I'm planning on trying. I'm going to find the paint for me. I'm determined. In the package that they sent me, they also sent me this really good color chart. I thought this was very helpful. The paints that I do have, they look very similar to this. I mean, it was, it's a good match. Is that what I'm trying to say? So yeah, it's a good color chart. But let me show you the painting and let me show you my finished sketches. I did these sketches in my really good Stillman and Burn hardback cover sketchbook. So this painting was done with the So Flat and I think you guys have seen this one before. At least on my Instagram you have, but you can tell just how beautifully matte it is. You can also see that it is like this color that I used here. It's kind of transparent, so you can still get some transparency to it. It's just that if you if you want it matte, you can put it a second layer. Like I'm quite sure this. I did a second layer. Look how chunky, blocky, matte that is. Now this I did in my flash paint. You can see a little bit of the difference and see how it's still matte but there's, there's a little more transparency. I think I've showed you guys this one. I know I have on Instagram. This right here is not done. I've got some writing and a little bit more that I wanna add to this. I'm gonna talk about this in another video, but this was also done with my so flat and painted this outside. Again, you can see there are, there's some transparency in places, but there's also just some real nice madness about it. Is that a word, madness? This is done with my So Flat and my Matte Fluid Acrylic. I don't remember why I did a mixture, but probably because I started coughing and switched over. This is my flash. And then this right here was done on our camping trip. And this is the So Flat. This is my favorite little corner of this painting right here. I love this. Just the colors. This kind of goes with my under the table theme that I've been doing in my big paintings. And then look at it, a little mouse. I'm definitely going to be adding some mice to my paintings. And then that was the last one in this sketchbook I've done with the So Flat. Let me just show you around the painting. So this is in my Under the Table series. I love the rug. And you guys are always looking for the plug. There's my plug. And look who entered. So I don't have anything major under the table except this gorgeous rug. But this guy is headed under the table. And we know in this series there live some cats. So I thought that was appropriate. Actually, there's a cat up there. Let's look at the table. There's just little things like this cup that I love. The grapes were super fun. I'm getting far more pattern in my paintings lately and I'm loving that. Like this tablecloth napkin-y thing back here. Really pretty. 
just, yeah, it's been fun to incorporate some pattern and texture. I also did a couple landscapes, basically, and I love this one right here. I feel like this turned out so good. I've got a couple figures. It's like the farmer and his wife and their cat. I mean, look how cute is that cat. That's one of the things I've been loving about this style of painting. I'm getting to put in everything that I love. Interior, still life, landscape, figures, animals. Did I already say animals? All the things. And then I got a couple other figures in with the paintings. And this is kind of me and Grady. I'm also getting to do like whimsical, which is really fun. And then basically I put in another landscape out the screen door there. It feels very main. And I loved kind of how the screen door look is. I'm just thrilled with the painting. Let me know what you think. The other thing I wanted to show you was the edge. I left it this really pretty pink and it really looks nice with the painting. So basically it's kind of the color of the curtains. And I love paintings where you can see the marks, like of the painting marks on the edges. So yeah, there's that. And if you've used this paint, have any experience with it, leave us a comment below and let us know what your experience was with this paint. We would all really appreciate that. All right, guys, I'll see you back here real soon.